Adventures, you got D-Lynn here on another Patreon request music reaction video. Tonight's Patreon request comes to me from Robert Bartell, who wanted me to revisit Jelly Roll and react to his song Sober. This is the seventh track off of the American rapper, otherwise known as Jason DeFord's recent album, Ballads of the Broken, that was released in September of 2021. According to TotalEntertainment.com, this introspective album is the first where Jelly Roll is not rapping. And as Robert pointed out to me, this album was preceded by a sold out show at the iconic Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee. Apparently, Sober is a confession of sorts of a flawed man owning up to his demons. Jelly Roll says, it speaks to the pain of being chained to the things we once loved that ended up being vices. And I hope people connect with it. My only reaction so far was to his House of Cards song, which if I do remember correctly, I'm pretty sure I enjoyed that one. But I also think that he was rapping in this one, so going from context clues of what I just recited to you guys, it seems that I'm going to get reacquainted in a different way to Jelly Roll, but I'm sure that the uh, style and his just overall presence is going to be the same and I can't wait to see what this is all about. So I'll be reacting to Jelly Roll and his song Sober. <laughs> It hits different since I got older Still got this old chip on my shoulder The stubborn side of me will never get sober Try to numb my pain but the bullshit never works I run from shame, I'll do anything to heal the hurt so short. I wonder if this was done for irony, but it kind of looked like while he was singing before the the establishment burnt down, um, it looked like Jelly Roll had um, a glass of something in his hand and that was kind of ironic as he's singing about need to get sober and I was just wondering, is that like glass of whiskey or does he got some iced tea in there I don't I don't know but he sounded really good singing like I don't have that great of a memory of what House of Cards sounded like and I should have uh, re uh, listened to that before 
listening to this, even though it probably wouldn't have helped. I mean, it would have gave... It doesn't matter. <laughs> if he was rapping, totally different sound from when you're singing. So, he sounded really good singing, though. He's like a double threat, unless he does other things, too. Then he'll be a triple threat, quadruple threat, you know, and so forth. But for now, he can sing and rap, and that's amazing. Um, and he sounds wonderful. His voice is just really melodic and and I just like his voice. I uh, was reading up on him just to try to reacquaint myself to who he was and um, I also think that Robert mentioned that he's a recovering, is it alcoholic or was he a drug addict? I, I hate getting that wrong so guys if you would like to just you know throw it down in the comments which one is it? Because uh, I, I honestly can't remember at this point. What I was going to say about that is I, I can't relate to that, but I can relate to the feelings that, you know, as far as like trying to find ways to cope with, I guess, everyday problems that everybody has. Some of us find different types of ways to cope and it's, it's very much what he said, the quote that I said at the beginning of this video, that things that we love that turn into vices, and that's exactly what everything, that's what happens. And I guess that's part of the human experience on, you know, what is our personality like? Do we have an addictive personality where we start doing something to the point of excess and we can't stop ourselves? And it's sad when, you know, there's those of us that can't stop ourselves. And and I'm not just, you know, I'm not just talking about drugs and alcohol. This can be anything from smoking cigarettes, overeating, gambling, hell, even being like obsessive compulsive, which I think that may be a disorder, but let's leave that alone. But there's a lot of things that, like Jelly Roll said, things that we like doing. For the most part, there's a lot of people that can do things like that in moderation. And then there's others that get down in the rabbit hole and keep doing these things over and over because we're trying to fill a void. I'm happy to hear that Jelly Roll is recovering or has recovered and still is on his road to recovery and I'm happy for him and his success after finding out he sold out at the Ryman and there was somewhere else I heard that he had sold out as well. I heard that he's also trying to improve on his health, you know, with weight management and things like that, which, you know, I could tell you that's hard and I wish him all the best and all the luck in that because when we talk about vices, there's, you know, like food <laughs> and, that's the one thing that isn't a controlled substance and some some of it should be I think but anyway I, I hope that you know he finds success in all areas of his life and I hope that he's happy where he's at now and continues to move up the you know the ladder I like him unfortunately you know this is my second time hearing him I don't ever hear of him outside of doing reactions though which is crazy hearing that he's been so popular selling out shows you would think that I would have heard a whole lot about him but again that's why I say I love doing reactions because you guys introduced me to these artists that I think Wikipedia said he's underground I wouldn't even say he's underground anymore but what do I know but that was a very relatable song I heard it that whole album is like that so thank you so much Robert for asking me to react to Jelly Roll again that was very enjoyable and it was great to see that side of him as well I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel I hope there's something on here that will make you want to subscribe thank you guys for stopping in on this patreon request reaction video and I can't wait to see you in the next one bye